uh, this session is not going to like take a long time. Um, like I said last week, that I'm focusing on gold and UCAD and uh, what else? GJ. Um, we had them um, focus on GU for the week during during the week. You know, I'm not really into GJ GU like that, but I'm just I'm still watching R. So what gold did last week? I mentioned that we we're in a consolidation. I think we we're around here last week. So we are inside a consolidation and we could push up onto this up onto this level, which is like a very major structure TP2. Um so what gold did was push up but not to this area. So when we started having like this exhaustion here, um okay we understand that we are now creating a new you know resistance area and uh in level two of the course, I talked about chart patterns, you know, and ascending reversal chart patterns. So ascending cha ascending reversal channels. So you have um cha chart patterns that you know that indicates continuations and reversals. And uh, you have an ascending channel that can indicate a continuation of a trend, and also the one that can indicate a reversal of a trend and this ascending one is indicating a reversal of this trend and just like anything you have major and minor structures so there are some ascending channels that come in like the major the minor structure like inside here this um no is this it um let me see let me see something like this on i don't know if people can see it but um let me not try to force what I'm not okay, but yeah, it is like this um little ascending channel over here is very small and vinyl compared to the entire big one. Uh so if you can see this plus divergence on the on the structure that you are trading and you take the cell and go out of the trade then that's fine but this huge one because of this large uh we have we were buying for a very long time so is is just like you know the example of a large trailer that wants to make a u-turn in a street <laughs> so imagine not on the express no way inside a street let's say lucky phase one there was a place where they could take around about like turn new turn so if a trailer or a bike wants to do it, the first person to go is a bike. And this is a trailer right here that is taking its time to turn because it has to go back and forth. And that is literally what a consolidation is. So is trading is all about knowing where you are in the market. You have to understand what price is doing at that particular point in time. So once you're able to define that, oh, we are inside a consolidation, so you have to reprogram your mindset and say, yeah, we are. it's not like I'm going to be holding for long. I know this is in and out and we can have a lot of weak, like weak exhaustion. This is where like you have a lot of liquidity that are being grabbed. Price is in an indecision mode. So buyers and sellers are both in control at this point in time. So if you are buying, you know that you are taking profit at your TP1. You are not waiting for negative 61.8. You are just taking your profit at the first take profit levels. And if you are selling, you want to see the clear um, sell structure and then understand that price can come and retest multiple times. So if you are taking this sell at this area here, and your stop loss has been very tight. Of course, you'd have gotten kicked out before price going down. And okay, I took there was a buy trade here actually. That's why I have all this. So okay. I think this was news. Yeah, again, yeah, we pushed up but didn't even get to TP1. So yeah, this I think I took I I did take profit on this. 
yeah, that I remember. Um, so you just know where you are. So with gold now, we are turning around, turning around, and currently for where price is at, um, you can see I have an alert here. You know, this did a lot of moves where if you had caught it at the beginning, I think I just, like, I, just, I was just helping it for a bit. But if you had caught it at the beginning, all well and good. So I'm expecting, I'm watching for price to get to this first take profit or any of take, take profit and then retrace. After this next retracement, um, I'm going to be watching for exhaustions and my the rest of my confirmation to sell to sell at this um wherever I see the confirmation it doesn't necessarily has have to be here although this is where I'm like looking at okay if it comes back and really retest this trend line uh, and then this supply zone take out a little bit of liquidity that's more convincing than for it to just keep going down here and if it does keep going down then I have this um structure here for it to retest um for this trade so and i'll be carrying it down to this area or more or more or more so that's it for gold and i'll just wait for confirmation right now we have this bullish move so once we hit any of these tp levels and a pullback i don't have a bass pattern right now i'm not in the mood <laughs> But once we do that, I will, um, you know, be watching for it. And I think I sent a signal in the signal group for the for the first time in a while. Um, and that did the hundred pips in that day. Uh, you know, although we could have gone back in, that's the thing again with consolidation. We could have got gotten back in because it was around six seventeen sixty five. So and then we. Uh, we could have gotten back in and then cut this sale. But, you know, we're waiting for the real, the more convincing move for gold. So that's what I'm looking at for gold. Then GBP, JPY, two. Um, so this is, this, this, this one has been a little, a little tricky, but I figure out what she was doing late. Um, so this is what I said about the ascending reversal patterns and then the ascending continuation. So GJ, we have been in a downtrend. So lower highs and lower lows, right? And this is an ascending channel that is forming. Uh, usually the, the criteria for the ascending channel continuation is that after an impulse move right you have that flag like it's like a flag it's like an ascending flag right that is forming and this is what it looks like but in this case we have price doing this and but it's not necessarily this is not necessarily a momentum impulse move this last move so we had a series of lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows so we had a lot of retracements in between it's not an ideal setup for that flat pattern to just go like this and then drop so and if you are trading gj you know that there are times where it does this and it keeps ascending very well it's like ascend before actually reversing so now we are creating a series of higher highs very low momentum because this is like a consolidation that is moving upward so uh, ultimately we are watching for gj to come up onto this level even 170 area but you know as long as we do not break this trend line and don't look at this on a lower time frame the push away i'm looking at is like a really nice con like confirmation if he wants to reverse but we are going to have a lot of fake outs with gj thinking that oh we are about to sell now no nah 
this is all liquidity over here. So we are pushing up. And currently on Friday, we had this impulse move up um, that also broke this area of liquidity. So, and, and this is what one thing that I saw that I also wanted to share with you guys. We talk about liquidity a lot, right? And one of the major things we've seen liquidity is seeing um M patterns and also you know that your double tops are like your uh, reversal patterns but the thing is you have to see everything at a good location so seeing this double top now it's not a high probability double top because it is in it is inside this consolidation one and then it doesn't really have strong rejections at the tip of it one of the things that I also talk about in the level four of that conference list is that, um, you know, you need to see rejections, like strong rejection, like if it was something like this with the double top, then, you know, price won't easily go up, right? So when we're pushing up, it, you know, it would have taken a lot of people out here. So price pushed away, we tested this area, and then it's moving up. I'm bullish on this. As long as we keep testing this trend line, we see, we can see GJ going up. But it's going to be tight and annoying though. It's only those that can actually stick with it. But if you can't, you can wait a few weeks <laughs> for the real impulse move. But this is like um doing minor structural moves inside of all this that is happening. There are trades. I mean, 100 pips up, 100 pips down, 100 pips up, 100 pips down. That's a, a lot with GJ. So does anybody have any question? Uh, if I see a trade, I'll send it in. If I don't, just leave it. Do you have any question so far? Okay. All right, without further questions, that will be it for today. Uh, hopefully I'm going to send a trade on the signal chart. I think I'll send it when I want to take that um, gold trade. And I'll stay that gold trade, yeah. So you guys uh, have a good night and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.